We have to have a talk about the bow tie. It's getting to be that time of year where for Christmas parties or weddings or New Year's parties, people are going to start breaking out bow ties, which I approve of completely, but it always pains me a bit when I see the pre-tied clip-on bow tie. Now, I've been wearing a bow tie regularly since 1995 or so when I was in graduate school, but I was the kind of kid who actually wore a tie voluntarily also to high school, and I would have worn a bow tie in high school if I could have figured out how to tie one. Uh, we didn't have the uh, World Wide Web back then, but we had those little cards that you would get in the men's stores that showed you allegedly how to tie a tie. But even now with the advent of the web and YouTube, it's still not always that easy to understand how to tie a bow tie. Now, uh, what I wanna do is show you the way that I learned how to tie a bow tie uh, at a men's clothing store in Chicago on the Miracle Mile. The store has since closed down, but the way I was taught to tie a bow tie just changed my life and I've been off and running since then. Okay, hopefully you can see this because I'm filming and I can't really see what I'm filming, but uh, one thing I should note is that this tie, bow ties are adjustable for length. So sometimes they'll have buttons like this, other times it'll have a little clip system that will show uh, certain numbers that are supposed to correspond to your neck size, but in my experience, those don't always correspond correctly. So the bow tie I'm wearing right now, this plaid tie, um, my neck size is 17, but I actually have it set for 14 uh, because when I have it set for 17, it's just way too wide. I feel like the ends of the bow tie, you know, should be well within the width of your face. Otherwise you kind of uh, have a tendency to look a little bit like a clown. In any event, Trial and error, you just have to adjust until you get it right. So here's the thing, this is a bow tie. This is my leg, hopefully you can see. And this was the trick that this uh, salesman at this uh, men's clothier in Chicago showed me. He said, all you're doing when you're tying a bow tie is you are tying as if you're tying your shoe. So you just come around, right? We've all tied our shoes a million times. We do one of those jobs. We make the loop and then we bring the other loop around from the front, and then we shove the loop in the back. Okay. And that is going to be your basic bow tie knot. Now, I will show you at some length on my person rather than on my leg, you know, the fact that once you get the tie in the basic format that you want, that's when your work starts, you know, using the loops and the ends to get the tie adjusted so that it looks nice. Uh, but again, looking nice is not the same as looking perfect. If your tie looks perfect, we know it's not real. All right, so let me show you what this looks like on my neck rather than on my leg. But again, basic point, all you're doing here is tying the tie like you would tie your shoe. If you know how to tie your shoe, you can tie a bow tie. So if you think about it as tying a, the same knot as you used to tie your shoe, that's a good start, but you're also doing it on your neck backwards because you're looking in a mirror. So let me show you what it looks like to do this here uh, and also give you a little bit of tips about how to sort of finish the job. Because one of the things about the bow tie, the hand tied bow tie, is it's not supposed to be perfect, right? If your bow tie looks perfect, we know that it's not a hand-tied bow tie. So always start with one side a little bit longer because this is the side that you're going to go around with. But So I always have my left side. I'm left-handed. You may do that on the right side. You know, we're going to cinch it up. You don't want any space between the tie and your collar. I'm going to make the bow. I'm going to come around underneath and I'm gonna grab the other end like that, right? Now, that's what the tie looks like when I first get it done, but the nice thing is, is that from there, I can just work the tie until it looks how I want it to look, right? You can 
pull the ends and then I pull the loops to get the knot tightened down more. I can you know, mess with the loops to try to get them extended right. This is a square bow tie, so you know, it's a little bit different. I don't even need the front and the back to be the same lengths because again, part of the reason it's a hand tied bow tie is that it doesn't look exactly right. So I'm pulling the ends in, I'm pulling the loops to tighten down the knot, right? And I'm straightening out. It's a little bit harder because I'm looking at this camera rather than in a mirror, right? But, you know, I get it roughly looking how I want it to. You know, it's not perfect. It's not meant to be perfect. But I get the collar back down and I have a functional bow tie. And now this is something that you can do for the rest of your life, whether it's for personal reasons, for professional reasons, or just because there's no reason to use a pre-tied clip-on bow tie now that you know how to tie a regular bow tie. If you do this, share a picture with me so that I can see the good work that you're doing. Thanks a lot and have a great holiday season.